the same for the United States Olympic Boxing Trials to Kenberg with Raleigh Schwartz, Marv Albert, Dr. Ferdy Pacheco, Sam Elber with the interviews. This is it in so many ways for many of these young boxers. The biggest moment in their lives, a chance to make the United States Olympic team the 11 top boxers in this country. And for many of them, if they had an opportunity, I think they believe and many experts would agree that they would be medalists in Moscow if that opportunity had not dissolved. You're absolutely right, uh, Dick. Jackie Fair has beaten three Soviet champions, three Cuban champions. He's won every honors, as you mentioned previously, and he certainly is a gold medal prospect and winner if the opportunity presented himself. That's Beard in the white trunks with the attack, and Penny now having trouble warding off the two-fisted attack from Beard. Penny's doing a nice job. He's the aggressor. Boxes in the style of another great St. Louis champion, Henry. Hank Armstrong moves in and bangs away with both hands. And Armstrong was relentless. And this young man is the same way. Seems impervious to pain as he moves in, takes the shots, and deals them out. They did a good job the corner of Petty and Blue on that cut over the left eye. And here's a case where that headgear is a very valuable device for him. With a cut in that spot, he's able to get some protection from the gear itself. I really feel without the headgear, uh, our Dr. Boganovich would have uh, disqualified young Penny because he had a pretty good lump over that one eye. But that headgear is a great protective means, and I'd like to see all of our lads wearing headgears because I think we should try to give all the protection we can to our young boxers. A minute, ten seconds remaining in round two. Here the favorite now switches to a southpaw stance himself. Penny has been able to penetrate Beard's defense, and generally Beard has terrific defense. One thing I'd like to have our fans watch, watch the footwork of these young men on these stand balance. Feet always underneath the hips. This is what you don't see in Eastern European boxers. They're wide stance, and they have no, no mobility at all. since he beat the cards. I was like, me? Oh, I beg your pardon. <laughs> yes, you're right. Look at those body blows of beer as he sinks them on the inside. Final seconds of round two. Johnson, the coach of Beard, are two of the finest coaches in the world. And that's why our program has dominated the world because of our great coach. Stop to think. All these gentlemen are volunteer workers. Great teachers they are. Coaches, teachers, and friends, and like all the coaches' fathers in many ways. Raymond Collins working in the corner of Beard. Ken Lohr, St. Louis with Teddy. Collins is a switch hitter right now. He's in the softball stance. Respected boxers in these Olympic trials and around the world. There's a name you go to Moscow, Tokyo, any place in the world that follows amateur boxing, they'll know the name Jackie Beard. Penny doing a wonderful job in there on Jackie, stalking him, punching away, trying hard. Now that blow landed on the elbows. Don't give him any credit. Now that blow landed by Petty on the arm. Not credit to 
there. It must land in the scoring area. It's not the amount of blows you throw, it's the blows that land. So let's watch for that. Just 35 seconds left. as if uh, he can take a punch with anyone. Now Beard back to the left-handed stance. You know, boxing a softball is no piece of cake. And Beard has had all that experience in the world, just hasn't been able to solve Petty, who is really a good, it's a beautiful workmanship, a real mechanic in there. There's that shoe shot that Petty puts out there. Those are those hooks to the body.